In this video, I'm going to show you how we can burn tokens. Burning tokens mean destroying some tokens. After you burn them, nobody will be able to access them again. When we do this, we reduce the total supply, which means we make the other tokens more scarce, which is supposed to support the price. SafeMoon has burned a lot of tokens. In total, they burned 40% of the total supply and they took it from their initial allocation. So on the one hand, they have less token for themselves, but on the other hand, the token left they have are supposed to be worth more money. I have to warn you, this is a very debated strategy and there were a couple of studies made on the token burns for MakerDAO that show that token burns are not very effective. So you don't have to do token burn, it's really up to you. There are several ways to do token burns and the easiest way is just to send your token to an address that nobody controls. It's very difficult to prove that nobody controls an address, but if you choose an address that is very spatial, for example, an address with only zero, then you're pretty sure that nobody controls this address and it's exactly what SafeMoon did. So this is the BSC scan for the SafeMoon token. And when you scroll down and you go to holders, you will see that the biggest holders of SafeMoon token is the burn address. So it's this address 0x00, etc. with a one at the end. And they have more than 40% of all the total supply of SafeMoon. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to send some token to this address. So here, this is the BSC scan page of our SafeMoon fork. And if we go down, we go to contract, we go to write contract and we'll be able to interact with our smart contract. We click on connect to Web3, MetaMask. Okay, so let me scroll down to here, the account, which is the owner of the token. Okay, we connect this. Okay, so now we are connected and we scroll down. We scroll down and we're going to find the transfer function. So for the recipient, it's going to be the burn address and for the amount, well, it's up to you to decide the amount of tokens that you burn. But of course, you cannot burn more token than the one you own. So for example, uh, let's try to burn 10,000 token Click on right. Uh, by the way, sometimes the connection between MetaMask and BSC scan doesn't work well. So in this case, you have to redo the connection process that we did just before. Okay, so here we have the parameter of the transaction, the gas limit, gas price, and we click on confirm. And now let's click on view your transaction. Okay, so the transaction was mine. So now if we come back to the previous screen, we select the burn address, we go in a read contract, we go in balance of query, and now the burn address has 10,000 token, it worked. And now nobody can access these tokens anymore. And you can do as many of these token burns as you want. So you see token burns aren't so complicated. That's it for the token burns.